about baptism is that it's a symbol, and Peyton here, by going public with his faith with and through this symbol, he's saying that he publicly, that he believes two things to be true. The first is he's saying that he believes that Jesus lived a perfect life, that he died and was buried and laid in a tomb, which is why he'll go under the water. But he's saying that he believes that Jesus didn't just stay dead, but on the third day he came back to life, defeating death, the grave, and bringing us freedom. And the second thing Peyton is saying today by being baptized is saying that he believes the same has happened in his own life. That there was an old Peyton living an old life with an old purpose and identity, but it has been laid to rest and that is now gone. There's now a new Peyton living a new life with a new purpose and a new identity, and that's what we're celebrating today. And so uh, Peyton came to me and we kind of talked a little bit about his story. He said that he made the decision to follow Jesus a while back, but recently he knew that his next step was to go public with his faith in baptism. And I asked him, we have one of his small group leaders here, I said, who do you want to be in the water with you? And he said, who do you want to be freezing beside you, Nick? And I said, why Nick? And he said, well, when I was coming to small group, he's like, there are a few weeks where there's only one person, and it was me. And he said, Nick stuck with me through the, all of that. And so, man, there's a cool connection here, and it is always so cool to see people beside you, peers, small group leaders, being a part of the story and helping with the symbol of baptism. So, Nick, what has it been like? Uh, it's been super cool. I uh, just recently started uh, leading this small group by myself, like this semester. And uh, ever since like, I met Peyton, we've been super close. Um, it's just awesome like how eager he is to learn and like how he loves everybody so well. Um, I can really tell like he's all in. And uh, when he told me he wanted to be baptized, he actually said he wanted to do it in that lake over there. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, bro, like an alligator might like chomp me or something. <laughs> but uh, no, so then I just like, we got connected with Joseph and I, uh, it's just been super like enjoying to watch him uh, be able to do this. And I'm excited to be able to walk with him in it. Have you given your life to Jesus and chosen to follow him for the rest of your life? Yes, sir. Awesome, man. It is our privilege to baptize you as our brothers in the faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says that we're very blessed to baptize you this morning. Well, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says that if anybody's in Christ, they're a new creation. The old is gone. Behold, the new has come. That's exactly what we're celebrating today. Peyton didn't just now become a new person. He did when he gave his life to Jesus. And today, he's simply showing everyone who's here what has already taken place and what Jesus has already done. And the beautiful thing is, we can't change that. And so I want to pray for Peyton. I want to pray for us. And if your next step with God is baptism, please talk to your small group leader or come talk to one of us. We'd love to help you take that step as well. So let's pray. God, thank you for this beautiful reminder. God, in the middle of retreat of what you're doing in our lives, and God, that everything is ultimately built on you. God, not on ourselves or our behavior or our choices, God, but on you. And so thank you that we celebrate here that Peyton is a new creation. God, in you. God, thank you for this reminder, and I pray for him as he continues to walk. God, you surround him with people who would love, encourage him, and challenge him. God, I pray the same for us. God, remind us that our identity is grounded in you and not ourselves. Just again, we love you. Walk with Peyton. Walk with us.